As we continue to talk about sanctification this week, one of the passages we'll be in is 2 Corinthians 6 and just the first verse of 2 Corinthians 7. And the passage begins with not being unequally yoked. And what Paul is talking about there is a believer and an unbeliever should never knowingly go into a marriage. And so, side parenthesis, if you are single, please heed Paul's command. I know sometimes it can feel desperate and lonely, but if you're a Christian, only marry a Christian. But Paul's point there is that the Christian has been set apart Sanctified, that's what it means. Holy means set apart for God's use, for God's purposes. At Oak Mountain, we talk about the waltz. It's a three-step dance with Christ that leads to the transformed life. Repent, believe, fight. Sanctification does involve us in the fight step of the waltz. Now, earlier this week, we were reminded that sanctification is a work of God's free grace, but it also involves our response. Probably the greatest verse, or verses, I should say, on sanctification and our understanding of the catechism question is Philippians 2, 12 and 13, where Paul writes, work out your salvation with fear and trembling. Okay, that's a call to effort. That's a call to striving. Work out, you do this. But then Paul says, actually, there's something prior to us working out our salvation. For, because, something prior to working out your salvation, God is at work in you. There's the work of God's free grace. God is at work in you, both to will and to work according to his good pleasure. So yes, there is a life to live, but that life flows into us because God is already in a prior fashion at work in us and his grace in us motivates us, inspires us, compels us. The love of Christ compels us. The love of Christ in us constrains us. So the fight step of the waltz can only be engaged in as we have a prior reflection and consciousness and awareness of God's work of grace in us. There is no dichotomy between grace and effort. As you've heard me say many times before, grace is opposed to earning, not effort. And the fact of the matter is, God's work of free grace that brings about transformation actually is a grace that leads to effort and leads to striving. But it's not a self-sufficient, self-reliant striving. It's a dependent, receptive striving. So keep clear in your own minds that grace is what leads to striving. And strive for the holiness without which no one will see the Lord.